something like a MOT-C um, that's going to increase insulin sensitivity and work as an exercise mimetic. And because um, with sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, although, you know, there's some mechanical damage, it's more, if we're thinking back to um, when we were talking about AMPK mTOR, um, because it's not as structurally intensive, um, it would be a little bit more AMPK. So that's a perfect time to use a MOTC. Whereas if you're using MOTC with like a really mTOR dominant type of training, not that it wouldn't work, but it just might not work as well. Um, that would be a time um, if we're doing more of an mTOR dominant type of training, where we want to think about like, <laughs> we got some repair to do here. So, you know, how do we make those mitochondrial mitochondria structurally sound? How do we prevent um, apoptosis and mitochondria? So that would be where we'd use things like um, SS31, which is going to um, repair the cardiolipin, which is, we think about the mitochondria's inner membrane, um, that kind of little phospholipid tail-looking things in there, the cardiolipin, 